Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing an all about my hair video. I show you the shampoo that I use and the conditioner and the products and the tools that I use to grow my hair out. And I also show you how I curl my hair with the Numi Octa Wand. I use the 25 millimeter barrel. So if you'd like to see my tips and tricks on how to grow your hair out and how I style my long hair, then please keep watching. All right guys, so we are gonna dig right in. The first thing that I wanna say is that I do not wash my hair every day. I usually do it about once or twice a week, every four or five days, maybe sometimes six days. And I think that that really helps maintain the integrity of my hair. It doesn't get um, dry, I'm, it doesn't get super oily right away. And so I think that really helps. And then the other thing is I really try not to blow dry my hair every time that I wash it. Because I am using heat on it in between washes, I don't want to immediately put a lot of heat on my hair. So typically I will let it air dry as much as I possibly can and I think that really helps. So those are my two main tips before we get into products that I wanted to share with you. Before I start curling my hair, I wanna talk about the tools that I use. So right when I get out of the shower, I use this wide tooth comb. I like to use this side first, and then once I get all the knots out, I go in with this side a little bit, kind of on the ends, just to make sure that I have all of the knots out. And I like to use this kind of brush. This is the Wet Brush Pro. And I like to use this kind of brush when my hair is dry. I don't actually use it on my hair when it's wet. And you always do kind of want to start at the bottom and then work your way up when you're brushing your hair. So I always take it in my hands, brush through the ends, and then go upwards with the brush. Moving on to products, I'm gonna start with shampoos. I love using like organic type of shampoos. I'm not really into fancy shampoos because I go through it a lot. Because I only wash my hair maybe about once a week, I do shampoo twice before I condition. And so I like to use more inexpensive shampoos and I love the Shea Moisture line. I've used many different shampoos from this line and I love all of them. I've used the castor oil one. I think that that one was great for growing hair. I've also really liked this one. It's Sacha Inch Oil. It's got omega-3, 6, and 9, and it's like rescue and repair clarifying shampoo. I like to get a clarifying shampoo. I think it does help get all of the grease and the grime out, and this is paraben-free. It doesn't have sulfates or phthalates or propylene glycerol or mineral oil, and they don't test on animals, and so I really like these shampoos. I don't think that you can go wrong with any of them. It kind of depends on what your hair needs, but they do have a lot of different options and I love the shampoos. As far as conditioner goes, I do have one very favorite. It is from the Macadamia Oil. It is expensive, but you only I only use it once a week and I do think that it does help a lot with keeping your hair healthy and smooth and keeping the ends good. So I do highly suggest it. I will put a picture here. And I will also link below where you can get it. I get mine on Ulta.com usually. I just use my points and I can get some money off. So that's kind of how I work it. And usually the large tub lasts me four to six months, I would say. Right now I'm actually using one of just the regular conditioners I got during the Ulta sale, like a big kind of jumbo size and it's just regular conditioner, it's not the deep conditioner. And I like it, but because my hair is pretty healthy, like I feel like it's fine, but um, if you have damaged hair or colored hair, then this other one that I am linking down below and put the picture in for is the one that you wanna check out. After the shower, after I have squeezed my hair out into a towel, I do have one of those like little towel 
turbini thingy my dry eggs i love that especially for my long hair so great and it's better and less heavy than having just like a full towel on your head so i really like that and um after it's kind of just it's still damp but not you know super wet right out of the shower i like to go in with this organic jojoba oil i just bought this on amazon and i obviously you can see i've gone through a lot but i mean i've had this for maybe two years and I love it I think it does like help moisturize my hair but it doesn't make it greasy I do part my hair before I do this and then I put it on the back ends a little bit in the front because I don't want it to be greasy and um, I do feel like that helps like with my ends and it helps hydrate my hair in the places that need it more this time around I did try this Briogeo Rosarco milk leave-in conditioner spray and I will leave in a clip of that my hair was kind of damp still when I put this in so I did do that on camera And I do feel like my hair is kind of soft and I don't think it's like greasy yet or anything like that so that's good now you will notice that my hair is kind of frizzy that does happen when I air dry it um, and it usually goes away the next day so I'm not really super worried about it I am going to curl my hair today with the new me octa wand this is the 25 millimeter wand and because my hair is very thick and stubborn it doesn't curl well I've noticed with the 32 millimeter wand so I have been using the 25 millimeter and after my curls kind of settle I feel like it looks a lot better than the 32 kind of falls very quickly and that's just my hair. My hair does not curl good at all. It basically is impossible for me to keep my curls. But I try out new products every day and I do like the ones that I use right now. They don't kind of weigh my hair down or make it feel gross and sticky and weird. So that's always nice. Before I curl my hair, I am going to use a heat protecting spray. I like this Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. And I mostly focus this on my ends and then put a little bit on the top. And then I like to brush through. Again, when I brush, starting at the bottom, working my way down. Again, I do have stubborn hair, so my curling iron is set to 450 degrees, which is the hottest setting. I like to section off my hair when I do this because I just, there's just a lot of hair here. I like to start in the front. I am going to use a glove because I don't need to burn myself and I usually do. Alright, I'll take the piece above the ear like this. Put my wand behind my head and try to have the hair as flat as possible on the barrel and leave some out and for the underneath pieces I like to curl them pretty high up to the top just because it helps when they fall they show better that way so after I curl it I leave it in my hand for a minute just to let the curl cool off and then I let it down and I move on to the next little slice I like to go kind of small with the pieces and then this one I'm gonna go in front of the hair and go towards my face so I like to alternate towards my face away from my face I just feel like it kind of gives my curls more body it doesn't like make them stick together all in like one little clump in front of my face so that's why I like to alternate. The first time that I grew my hair out was for my wedding and I actually was like growing it out before that but for about a year before my wedding I was like really working on growing my hair out and it got super long doing like all of these things that I'm saying. Not washing my hair, not putting heat on it, um, eating your diet, so eating healthy it really helps grow your hair and so the 
first time around it took me about five years to get my hair um, I would say almost belly button length that was at my wedding so that was almost two years ago in February and then after my wedding in April of 2017 I cut my hair to about shoulder length maybe collarbone length and so that was two years ago and now my hair is past my boobs and um, basically just doing the things with the products that I use not washing it very often and not blow drying it as much and I also put my hair in a braid when I sleep. So either like a side braid or um, for a while I was doing like pigtail French braids for a while. Um, that really helps your hair not get kind of caught in your pillowcase. It um, helps like your dead ends and stuff. And I really do think that that makes a difference when I braid my hair. You know, it does kind of come out cute in the morning when you braid it. So it's better than curling your hair and using heat. If you just braid it at night, it'll be cute the next day. So that's just a little tip to prevent using heat like every day. Also, I've noticed that this wand is really nice. I may have to like fix a couple pieces, but otherwise my hair does look pretty good for a few days after I curl it. So that's really nice. This is a great wand. I also really like this wand because I feel like my hair isn't like super dry after I use it. It doesn't feel um, like gross. Sometimes my ends would feel gross after I would use my old curling iron. It was just a cheap curling iron and so this one I do feel like my ends look really nice. It tames down my like frizziness and I think it's just a really nice curling iron and I did get it on sale it was not full price so that's always nice too when you get a nice deal on a very expensive item so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl the rest of my hair down here and then I will show you what I do to the top for the front I like to start in the front and again, you don't want to do too big of a piece, so about, you know, yay much. And you want to go behind. First, I like to just kind of get it hot, and then I move it down to eye level. And again, you want to have the hair flat, and you want to leave some out. Again, about 20 seconds. Hold it for about 10. Now what I do differently is the front piece, the front two pieces I do in the same direction. So this same piece, I'm going to go behind my head, I'm going to do it tight and then pull it out. And then I'm going to wrap my hair around, leave off a little end, and hold it for 20 seconds. Let it go, and the next piece. I go towards the face. Again, get it up high just to get some heat there. Pull it and wrap the hair. I have really found that when I put my hair in braids at night, it helps too. Like it doesn't pull, it doesn't get in my way. Like sometimes, you know. It gets all wrapped around you and you're flicking it all over the place. It gets annoying. So it's nice when it's just like pulled away and it doesn't bother you. And then I hold it like this. A little bit more so you get like some volume in the back. Sometimes I even break this up into two pieces. I think I'm gonna do that today. Again, I level. And the two front pieces go the same way. So I'll do another piece going the same way away from the face. 
And I'm just gonna do the rest of this section and I'm gonna alternate. I like to give it some body and then I am going to pull it to eye level, twist it around, and make sure to hold the curl. And I'm going to do the second piece again the same way away from my face. So then when you're done, you want to bring all your hair forward. Make sure everything's curled. Don't forget to turn your curling iron off. And then I'm going to spray with, I like to use the Sexy Hair, Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable hairspray and I just spray it through and then I like to start at the root and just kind of bring it together and then I'm gonna use my fingers to just kind of break up the curls a little bit just a little bit I don't want to do too much Should I get the root again? Then once I have something like this, I do like to take the jojoba oil I was talking about earlier. Just put literally one drop in my hand. Rub it in and then I like to put it on the ends and just kind of smooth everything out. And what's ever left, I do put on the top, just to help with some flyaways. And here is the finished hair look. I think it looks so good. I love the curls. I love the um, putting the curling iron at eye level, because I think it just kind of creates that perfect, like right at your cheek curl once it's loose. I have, as you can tell, really been loving this 24 millimeter barrel. I think it gives me like loose curls without being too loose. You can still kind of see them, but it's still kind of messy and not completely put together into like pretty but messy. So that's what I think this kind of comes down to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the tips and tricks helped you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.